Hello everybody and happy Christmas. You have reached the end of Advent and we celebrate the birth of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Matthew, in gospel, uh, the Gospel tells in chapter 1 verses 18 to 23 how Jesus' birth was foretold to Joseph. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take Mary home to be your wife, because she has conceived in her a child from the Holy Spirit. She will be give, give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. And today, that is what we celebrate. God with us. The name Jesus and the name Emmanuel point to God in human flesh. And I have no idea how God set about doing that. It is one of the great mysteries of life. How can God be God and human in the same time? How can God limit himself to a time and place? We may not fully understand the theology of it all, but what we can do today is to celebrate the strange truth that God work, walks in our shoes. He does not just know us and sympathise us. He comes alongside us as one of us. He knows what it is to be tired and hungry and thirsty and sad and lonely. He knows what it is to be full of joy and wonder and hope. God came into the world to show us that he is one with us. And that is the message. That is the gift of this and every strange Christmas. It is a gift that keeps on giving. A gift that lasts forever. A gift that if you let it and accept it in your heart, can fill you with peace and hope. So please, accept this gift of God in your hearts today. Let us pray. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Be present in our hearts, O Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.